What's up guys, Eclectic Nerd here again as always, and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. So, in the last episode, I started doing a bit of work. Why can't I walk? Huh. I started doing a bit of work around the base here, mostly expanding my refinery areas. And today, so I think today we're going to finish up the work we started there by doing all the connector tubes and everything as well as I want to put up some sensors because this is this is you know this is the future you know we, we have to live that kind of sweet futuristic Star Trek lifestyle so I need to build a couple of these things and I'll get them so I'll set them up too so that we kind of we can learn from that because I've messed with them before why can't my interior plate that's why Is there anything else I need? Ah, radio communication components. Okay, makes sense. So this is number two has the most things, I believe. Detector components. Oh, of course. Always something. I think I've got, we need at least, mm, yeah, it should be good. Let's see, I need com, com components. Thankfully everything, everything that I need builds pretty quick. There we go. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and plunk the first one of these down. Let's stick one here. And the beauty of these things is you can actually set them up. Oh, construction components. Dang it! It is always something. There's always one thing I'm missing. I believe the green light means that it detects whatever it's set to detect, yeah. So, we come down here, and uh, this is door four, we're going to call this hangar door lower, Hagnar. Dang it, if only I could type. Now what we do is we're gonna shut we're gonna close this door. We're gonna go up here. Get to the control panel of that if we can. There we can. Let's see. Um doesn't need to detect far above it. If only I can make that zero, probably be better. Uh, and so we're gonna go down like ten meters. We're gonna set up our actions. So how sensors work is they can basically do two things. They do one thing when they detect something and then one thing when they don't detect something. Or when so whenever the object that they're tracking moves out of their uh, field. So when we detect something we want to open. And when we when something moves out we want to close. So close that out. Now just give it a, a quick little reset. And it opens automatically. We walk through. As soon as I'm clear, it shuts. Now I'm just going to go through and basically set up the rest of these. Because we are all about that sweet, futuristic Star Trek lifestyle. Actions. 
gonna set that to open one of the text and close when it leaves. And I just need to set the range. Zero, just minimize that. Bump that up to about ten. There we go. Put that reset. Look at that. I wonder if... Whoa. Huh. Apparently I am just close enough to that, to the lower one where it can actually detect me. Close it so that we have a nice clean slate to work from. Let's see, and top zero. Just minimize that. Open and close. All right. Test here. Perfect. Let's see, we're gonna make our way across the base here. Oop, not a radio components. Five meters, five meters or ten meters seems a bit far. Oh, I got extra radio components. That works out nicely. And the sensor's upside down. That is getting rather annoying how things are just upside down. panel set up a de action open and close there now we have this guy which might be a bit more difficult because it's on this angle Gonna be so nice. I'm never. I'm never have gonna gonna have to worry about opening or closing doors again. Oh, need one more computer. Before I go ahead and make a bunch of these, I should probably check if I actually have any. Okay. I knew I had a couple extra kicking around somewhere. Whoop! Oop! Ow! There we go. And then, last but not least, the gar the sort of the door to the garage door area. And close. 
Oops. There. Perfect. Open the airtight hangar doors. Alright. Get back to the get back to the really important stuff here. Trying to connect up these refineries. Oh, this is so nice having doors that automatically open for me. Let's see here. Okay. One thing I wanted to test was if. Um, what? I'm missing a thing. Dang it! Ah, oh, shoot. Hmm. Let's see, I can either... Put in actual tubes, or just use conveyors. I'm just gonna use conveyors. Just because they're nice and flush and they blend in. Boop, boop, and boop. Let's see, I need, I need motors and small steel tubes. Just clear out my inventory while I'm down here. You'll fix this platform too. So I actually have a. Oh, so there's no wall there blocking me. So I needed construction components, small steel tubes, and motors. What? I just did something. Oh! Oh! Ooh, okay, that's really useful. So, I didn't realize, but the numbers above your actual tool toolbar are... Like, you have multiple toolbars. I did not know that. Huh. That's really useful for if, like, you're, you're building something and you need certain components in your hand at any given time. Oh wow, that's that's a game changer, baby. How did I miss that? That's really cool. Oh, my small steel tubes. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. I am so smart for building self-opening doors. So much extra time to do activities. So I'm gonna go ahead and move all my components into their proper storage facility. There we go. Oh, that's most of the tubes in there. good for now. What do I need? I don't even remember how many I need. Put everything away that I don't need at the moment. Let's see how many... That's not enough. I need more than that. I still need more than that. There we go. I think 99 should be sufficient. If you're having tool problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 steel tubes. Please excuse my terrible wrapping. Wait a minute, I just thought of something. These ref these two extra refineries haven't been connected to anything, but yet their content, like their refined things have been already moving out to where they need to. I have to look into this. Um, 
Yeah. How... Tell me your secrets, wizard. How do you work? Oh, I know why. Duh, I'm a dumbass. Because this com this connector here plugs into this co these connectors over here. Uh, okay, I see what's going on here. Not the sharpest tool in the shed, but I'll figure it out. Charge my energy up real quick here. So, I get, that really knocks out my, my sort of to-do list for the day. Maybe, maybe I'll do what I was planning on doing. So, I want to build a larger reactor, because this small reactor is not going to power us forever. And I think a good place to stick that would be kind of tucked away underneath here. So, I'm going to get down here with my drill. And basically build on to the base. Just gonna use the good old the good old handy dandy right click and clear things out. Let's see here. Let's see. So that means that technically I don't know. That these tubes these tubes don't really even need to be here. I'm curious. Let me find out something here. Some testing. So if I cut that off, because I forgot that there's more than one way for those to connect. So now I'm trying to look if any refiner, if I'm having any stoppages in my refineries. Let's see, five's looking good, one's looking good, two's looking good, three's looking good, four looks good. Yeah. So I don't even need those. I can just completely axe those. And, re and reclaim the, the sort of special components that go into them. Well, look at that. Learning, th learning things. Let's see. We'll check with this one here. And go ahead and axe this. Keep an eye on my volume so I'm not filling myself up too much here. Okay. And go ahead and Plunk some light armor blocks where they belong. Try and keep try and keep this as to as minimal components as needed. Hmm. I wonder if that if this that means that this doesn't even need to be here. Just, just start just start axing all the things here. So that can that kind of uh, clears up my thing about if the as long as the sorter is connected somewhere after where your things are, it will automatically pull up, pull everything that's connected to it. So that's really nice. You don't have to run a bunch of tubes running every which way. Like it's the freaking internet. Set, set my door off and I'm not even next to it. I need steel plate. Yeah. 200, that should be plenty. And... There. With how bad I am at guesstimation, I figure it's probably easier to grab an extra 200 or so and call it good. Man, it's jaggy down here. A little swap welding back and forth. Whoa! Mine did not mean to do that. Careful so I'm not grinding stuff I don't want to grind. Okay, there's that. Complicate things. Hmm. 
because I don't necessarily just want all I don't necessarily always want my ores to my uranium to go to this thing. So I probably could set up a sorter here. Yeah, let's do this. I'll do it live. Doing it live. Uh, sorter. Tubes, of course. Always need your series of tubes. Cool this stuff out. Get my light armor block. And a one large, one large reactor, please. To go. Holy smokes. Okay, so nine. So this is going to be one of those things where I'll probably task it at times. Like I'll, I'll say, okay, this episode I'm going to go I'm gonna go mine some uranium and then I'm going to task the sorter to send it over here. Ooh, I just, that makes, hmm. I'm curious as to how this will work. Unless I build a second sorter. It's just for uranium. Because I don't want to have to just... Well, I suppose it's a small price to pay. Because the, and the, and the actual refined space in those uh, containers, is, in those refineries is pretty big, if I remember correctly. So, it's not a permanent solution. Um, yes, please. The heck. Open the door, Hal. What the hell are you doing in here? Oh. I'm an idiot. I don't think I... Okay. I didn't even set this one up. Jeez. How could you let me do that? Just an external door. Okay. Okay, that. Set up actions. I wonder, hang on, so they actually list the, you can give the sensors commands. Ooh, okay. Huh. So you can tell, you can give, literally give sensors commands from a sensor. That doesn't, for some reason that seems really weird to me. Reset. What are you doing? Why? Dang it. He was mocking me for my atrocious spelling. Okay. So there's that. Okay. Toggle block on. Show the terminal. Okay. I turn that off. Okay. Set up actions. Move, move. Okay, there's. So it's definitely that. Open. Close. Okay. Hmm. Well, what, what was that going up with that before? So yeah, that's right. I needed computers. I came, I came up here with a purpose. And I got distracted. Stupid door. Being all broken. 
Like stupid me for not pro stupid me for not programming the stupid door. What? Hmm. Maybe I grabbed the wrong door when I programmed that sensor before. Get in here. Okay. small kind of reactor bay area to house this thing. I don't know how big it's going to have to be. But I'm sure that's at least a start. Okay. Okay. Do I have enough to... Awesome. I can actually lay the... I can actually start laying the frame out here. gonna be here so I'm gonna go ahead and lay that out lay that out okay is, it, is there like too much rock here or something be gone freaking building here okay so Space and then so right there is essentially where the, the, the bend needs to be. Oop. There we go. And oh wow, that is ridiculously huge. So I'm still gonna have to cut some out of the bottom here. Might even be worthwhile to bring the the mining ship over here and drill with that. At least then I can. Uh, I feel like the radius I know of what gets destroyed is a bit more under, like controllable and understandable. Because with this, like I have no idea how exactly how much I'm removing. Is that? Hmm? That's that is my light. Is this uranium? That is not uranium. Why is this so dark? This freaking game is lying to me. Oh well. Okay. So. Make sure that this thing fits. Okay, yeah. It actually fits. Awesome. Um, now the real question is whether the... thing is actually uh, perfect okay so I may have to do a bit more clearing and I need to get to a uh, terminal here charge up because I am running low uh, open the door automatic doors are so nice to have So I, I kind of want to eventually maybe put a bunch of thrusters on this asteroid and then basically just fly the asteroid because I think that would be really, really funny. This is giant rock flying through space. Boop. Oh, about ready to fall there. Let's see here. I need to program this to do its job. Let's see. Point list. Uranium. I can get to add. I 
want it to be all like rocky and jagged. I actually want it to look like I've built into this. Let's see here. Get my armor block back out. Start building. It's at least just laying out the general framework. Yep. Dang it. Let me through. Thank you. down to where the floor needs to be. I'm going to need to get these corner blocks welded because I'm not going to be able to see them once they're actually welded. Stuck there for a second. Okay. So we're slowly Okay. Six. There we go. Yep. Standing where I need to put that. Oh, dang. Okay. Slowly carving the pieces away and getting the general frame laid out here. Well, that corner piece in place. Whoop! What the hell's, what the hell's going on here? I'm stuck. Since they don't always drop something, I can just do it like that. Hmm. There. Anytime I'm like rotating, actually in the game, I feel like I need to rotate my head just to. Like like that like that helps me orient myself by actually knowing where my head is. Out of the way. Space engineers at work. Again. What's this? Where, where are you? Huh. That's really bizarre. This is tiny, tiny little piece. It's like stuck. Okay, I guess that got rid of it. Alright. Just grab enough steel plate here. So I can at least get the frame done. Oop. Don't need 
need that. Must just be like these weird little shards that are just kind of left over from when you like actually break down large pieces of rock. Okay. So let's see here. Keep building along this wall here. Push, push the extra chunks out of the way where I need to. Let's see here. I think we'll take this just all the way to about here. So that makes that makes sense. Yeah. Oh snap. see there was all that extra stuff no we should be good for now we can always expand out slowly slowly starting to bi literally build into the asteroid which is cool I haven't really tunnel I haven't really done any sort of like mining uh, like mining and building into an asteroid as I go it's usually been kind of built out off the surface into space so this should be interesting The fact that all like some of this rock looks really dark like uranium is tripping me out. Okay. I'm about to figure out what to put in here. Because this is gonna be a lot of space for just just to stick a reactor in. How is it that, like, you'll be, you know, drilling something, and it'll drill like a cone out from underneath you? Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Dang it. This is quickly becoming a mess. Why not? We're doing it. That's where the wall's going. Oh, she's standing on part of the reactor. Oh. What? Okay. So this is the corner. I'm going to have to weld these all up. This is this episode is getting quite long, so I think I'm going to wrap this up today. Whoa! Oh, dang it! Fell in a hole. Not the best finish. So 
I will probably finish laying this out off camera and maybe do most of the work. So in the next episode, we'll take a look at this in its finished state. So until then, I will see y'all in the next one.